Afghanistan is facing the gravest threat of all times, the challenge to contain the novel coronavirus pandemic. Authorities in Afghanistan have announced sweeping measures to shut down the capital Kabul for three weeks. And as we on World is One continues to track the latest for our viewers, over 145 people have been infected with COVID-19 and four are already dead. The infected tally includes four members of the International Peacekeeping Forces of NATO, COVID-19 is spreading rapidly across Afghanistan. Mass sanitization of Kabul has already begun. Amidst the efforts of the government to contain the spread of COVID-19 in Afghanistan by shutting down four major provinces, including Kabul, severe problems have been created for business owners who live off their daily earnings. Panic buying, fear of price hikes have led people to rush to supermarkets and hoard groceries. We have a coordination committee, uh, the Ministry of Interior, Ministry of Defence, uh, Ministry of Health and other relevant uh, ministries are uh, part of this uh, committee. Uh, the day curfew was announced uh, the day before yesterday. so. Uh, it will take a while until people realize its significance. We have been doing lots of public awareness that people should stay home. If you compare today with uh, yesterday, you see less traffic and uh, the crowd has been controlled. Uh, to change a behavior, it's not an easy task, and especially in a site like Afghanistan, that uh, the literacy level, the health literacy level, are very low. Afghanistan recorded its first positive case of COVID-19 in late February. A combination of political rifts, lack of testing, extremely social lifestyles and a war-torn healthcare system led to Afghanistan's failure to contain the novel coronavirus in the early stages. <laughs> This market used to be one of the most crowded markets in Kabul. At least 70,000 people per day would conduct business here. And as you see today, it's deserted with only a few of the gatekeepers and chokidars going around. And being in the market in a government effort to enforce the quarantine of Kabul city on a total lockdown basis for three weeks in order to prevent the outbreak and further spread of coronavirus. This is Mustafa Kazimi in Kabul for Weon, World is One.